so when we're doing the process of endochondral ossification, we always have to start with, as we can see up here at the top, we've always got to start with a cartilage model. So the first thing that your body has to do to build any of your, your long bones uh, is to build this cartilage model. Um, as a, a, an aside, I talked about, I mentioned long bones being built this way. Do you remember which specific kind of bones we definitely don't build this way? Flat bones? Yeah, the flat bones. Yep. Flat bones, since they're so flat, we just, uh, we, we build them a different way. We actually build them with a model that has a little bit more fibrous tissue in it. So hyaline cartilage is something that we use to build the models for all of our long bones, but those flat bones are going to be built a completely different way. So step one, we, we build this really big cartilage model made out of hyaline cartilage to, to model our bone. As this model starts to get a little bit bigger, if you remember from the guided lesson, we talked about how the cells in the very middle of that model start to calcify. So calcify basically means that they're, they're grabbing at calcium, they're putting it around themselves. I kind of like to think of it like a, a bad attempt at trying to build bone since there's so much calcium in bone. So these cells here in the middle, these chondrocyte cells, grab a bunch of calcium, put it down around them, Unfortunately, when they start putting calcium around them, that is not great for their overall health. So they start to, to kind of get, get sick or they start to kind of die a little bit. But what really gives these, these cells in the middle trouble is that when I add this bone collar on the outside. So the bone collar is a really thin layer of bone tissue that forms because I, I bring some blood vessels to the outside of my cartilage model. Um, a good idea for us to be familiar with, um, I'm going to type it here for us, anytime we build bone tissue, um, we needed blood vessels first. So the bone tissue that I've built here on the outside of, of the model called the bone collar the reason that I could build this bone collar is because some blood vessels get close to this model and they bring with them a special kind of cells, those bone building cells. Um, what's the name of bone building cells? Do you remember? It's osteoblast. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So anytime we, we build, we need those blood vessels. Blood vessels bring osteoblasts. So we bring over some blood vessels here. They happen to have a few osteoblasts. Those osteoblasts build really immature bone or, or thin layer of bone on the outside of our model. That's called the bone collar. Now, once I've started to build that bone collar, the cells here in the middle are really gonna start dying. There, this, this inside of, of the model is, is just done because no more nutrients get inside. At that point, we're gonna bring in our nutrient artery or sometimes, um, well, I, I believe that's the way that it, we referred to it in our, our lesson. Um, so I'll bring in my, my nutrient artery, artery here. It goes into the middle of my model. Now, this is, is the part of the bone model that's called the shaft of the bone. Or I have a, a, a fancy anatomy word for it. Do you happen to remember from lab what we call the big, long shaft of the bone? The diaphysis? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Shaft of the bone equals the diaphysis. So what happens is my nutrient artery, my blood vessels, come into the diaphysis. They bring with them those cells that you told me about, the osteoblast cells. As they bring those cells in with them, then they're going to create this primary ossification center. So they're going to create the first place inside my cartilage model where I actually make good bone tissue. Because this stuff here on the outside with my bone collar, it's really thin. It's not that great. Uh, the bone that I start building here in the middle in my primary ossification center, that kind of bone tissue is going to last. So, so far, number one, we've built our model, hyaline cartilage model. Number two, my cells started to calcify because my model got big. Number three, that bone collar built or formed on the outside of my model. Number four, I sent in a blood vessel into the diaphysis, like you told me, the shaft of the bone. And then number five, we made our primary ossification center. Now, the process of endochondral ossification 
turning the cartilage into bone is going to continue all through the diaphysis here until we end up looking about like this, where the middle inside of the bone, uh, the cartilage model, excuse me, is turned entirely into bone, but I still have my ends where I still have cartilage tissue. Around the time of birth, we bring in some arteries and veins. We bring in blood supply, essentially, blood supply that has those cells that we talked about, the osteoblast. Those blood vessels go into the ends of the bones. So we talked about the shaft of the bones, the ends of the bones. Those ones also have a special anatomy name. That one's a little bit weirder to say, so I'll, I'll say it for you. That one's the epiphysis, the epiphyses, technically, if there's two of them. Um, so the end parts of the bone, as we get closer to birth, here comes blood vessels into the epiphyses, into the ends. And when they bring those bone builder cells with them, that's going to help us build the secondary ossification centers. And they're going to build bone tissue here in the ends of the bone uh, all throughout your lifetime into about adolescence, right? That's when I, I see this epiphyseal plate go away. So they'll fill all of this cartilage, what was cartilage tissue here, they'll fill that all in and turn it into bone tissue in the secondary ossification center. So now that we've talked through it, can you tell which steps you think you might have mixed up? Um, I think I've got it. We we're just talking in SI. Um, I guess we we're kind of debating like whether the um, blood vessels entered before the primary ossification or after. So I think we've got it. Now. Yeah. It yeah. And, before, and right? I, I think the easiest way to remember it is just to, to consider that blood vessels are going to bring this, the bone cells with them. Um, when we actually start building good bone, um, we, we had to have some blood vessels to help us do that. Um, I, part of where that confusion comes from, I bet, is from, the, from this step right here where my, my chondrocytes, they start to put cartilage around themselves, or excuse me, they start to put um, calcium around themselves. And calcium is something that, that we use to build bone. So it almost kind of looks like bone in here. It's kind of like immature bad bone here in the middle of, of the diaphysis. When I start to build my good bone, I have to have blood vessels to build the good bone to do that. So um, I, I bet that's where the confusion comes from. Building kind of, kind of like bad bone here in the middle. Once I build the good bone, I'll call it the ossification center. Okay, that makes sense. Perfect. Any other questions I can help you with? Um, I think that was the main thing that I had. Perfect. Um, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you think of any other questions, feel free to reach out. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.